which you might find in a bacon and lettuce and tomato sandwich. And then there are other commodities <laughs> like frozen orange. He is like, you gold. think I'm that dumb. Hey, welcome to Ricky Reacts. Today I'll be watching Trading Places from 1983 for the first time. Hey there, guys. Welcome to Ricky Reacts. I am Ricky. And this is where I watch movies for the first time and react to them and hopefully give everyone a good chuckle. I also have seven cats. Six of them and the dog are in the studio today with me because we are having some construction work going on downstairs and we don't want our sweet babies breathing that stuff in. Sorry for the missed week of posting. I was sick. You can still kind of hear I'm a little nasally. Um, we almost have 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 subscribers. That's blowing my mind. We've only been doing this for about six months, seven months, and we are just so excited that so many of you want to be here and do this with us. It's so great. But 95%, 95% of the people watching this channel are not subscribed, are not subscribed. Do you know how much more you would see my face if everyone that was watching subscribed? Super easy, guys. Also like the videos. Feel free to comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you'd like me to watch because ultimately this is for you. For our celebration of 1,000 subscribers, is there something you'd like to see a Q&A, um, videos of the cats. Is there anything specific that you'd like to know about me or, I, I don't know, I don't know. How should we celebrate? Should we do a smash cake? Should we have balloons? You tell me, tell me what you want and we will try our best to execute it for you. So today, Trading Places from 1983. Uh, director John Landis went through some of the stuff he has directed. He's an executive pro executive producer on a great many things, but he did great things uh, in the 80s and stuff. Uh, the Beverly Hills Cop, he did one of the National Lampoons. He worked with that core group of amazing comedians from 70s, 80s. Let's not forget the stars of this movie, Mr. Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd. <sighs> Two of the classics. Two of the the, 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 the the most amazing comedians to date. Here we go. Let's start the movie. I've always wanted to live in a big city like that. The hustle bustle of the morning rush. Okay, okay. I can see how they're going from like the, the rich people to the uh, poor people. They're going back and forth to show you the different lifestyles of what they're doing at that time of day. Good morning, Dan. Gosh, that's so crazy. Like, I don't know if I just want to be woken up, like, on a daily basis of, like, let me, like, get the sleepies out of my eyes. Duke and Duke. Is he like a financial guy? Maybe he's a financial guy. Oh, people, I, I feel like I've seen this bank. This looks like Hogwarts. Ringots. I love that. I love trying to like spot different sets or uh, shooting areas that they've used in other movies. Good morning, Mr. Duke. Good morning, Mr. Oh, stop it. I'd be like, okay, thank you. Okay, now they're being polite. That's not what I'm, but like, I wouldn't require that of people. I don't know if it's required, but it's unnecessary. Like a good morning from one person is like a group effort. Good morning. All right, thank you. Thank you. I'll see you at the club. I know that it's very smart to invest and do all that kind of stuff, but I wouldn't even know where to start. I don't even have any money to invest. What am I talking about? I have no money to give you. Please! Anything! Please. A quarter! Anything! Just a couple of dollars! Anything! They're quarter. beating him? Please. Bet you thought I'd forgotten your Christmas bonus. Oh my god, what is that again? There you are. Him? Five dollars? Oh wow. Keep your five dollars. Mr. We just made an extra three hundred thousand dollars. We seem to be paying some of our employees an awful lot of money. Can't get around the old minimum wage, Mortimer. Oh, what a shame to pay people what they're worth. Hey, 
Hey, baby, what's happening? What oh, don't doing? do that. You want you to have a man with no legs, you never go back, baby. Don't do that. Let go. It's rude. Consent. Making, Consent. Uh, I was with the Green Beret, uh, Special Unit Battalion's uh, Commando Airborne Tactics Specialist Tactics. Uh, yeah, he's trying. Yeah, it was real. He's trying. He's doing a pretty good job. I can see. <laughs> I can see. I have. I, can, I have legs. I have legs. Oh, shit. A Christmas miracle. <laughs> See, this is bullshit. He didn't do anything. He bumped into him and was handing back. That is infuriating. Ugh. What's going to happen to this man? Oh. We're going to book him. An assault. Oh, my robbery, God. Uh. There's absolutely nothing wrong with him. I can prove it. Of course there's something wrong with him. He's a Negro. <gasps> Probably been stealing since he could crawl. Oh, my gosh. Given the right surroundings and encouragement, I'll bet that that man could run our company as well as your young Winthorpe. Oh. Are we talking about a wager, Randolph? Huh. If he lost his job and his home and his fiance and his friends, if he were somehow disgraced and arrested I mean, by the police and He probably could be brought down a peg or two, but. Yes. They're gonna sure. set this up? You'd have to put him in the wrong surroundings, of course, with the worst sort of people. I mean, real Is this scum, funny? Rand. Why do you think that this is, like, this is what's so frustrating because I know this is a movie, but real people exist like this. Just awful. You're so Just, great. ugh. The what? Oh, my gosh. A scientific experiment. <gasps> Not at all, sir. No, he's gonna be in I'm on very, it. Uh, oh, he's gonna love it. <laughs> he's gonna have so much fun. But I don't think it's right to play with people's livelihoods just for shits and giggles. I think I have everything I want. Good night, sir. <laughs> he's like, oh God, this guy's a. He's this guy's a thumb. I don't know what that means, but he's a thumb. I'm sorry, but there are some people that, like, I couldn't imagine what it would be like watching this through the sidelines and keeping a straight face. Didn't I tell you that the phone in my limousine is busted and I can't get in contact with my bitches? Yeah, the phone in the limo is busted. <gasps> what are you, idiot? They're actually going to think that Let's it's true down, right? it because cool. the dukes die. are going to come and pick him up. Look at him. He has no idea what's about to happen. He's about to have the time of his life. Winthrop. Ugh. Ugh. They're too excited about this. They're too excited to just inflict pain and misery on Winthrop. This is your home. Uh-huh. Right. It, it belongs to you. Yeah, all this is mine. I like my home. It's very nice. It has very nice tasting houses. I like Everything it. Everything you see in this room is yours now. Uh -huh. this is to be stuff. completely honest, I think I'd be more comfortable in the sweats than mine. that suit. Yeah, I, like that. I just That's can't. That's a cheap vase, man. That was a fake, right? I think we paid $35,000. Oh, my gosh. It's too much money. People have too much money. William has already made us a profit of $15,000. Oh. It's just, like, I, I just can't laugh at that. There's so much that's wrong about this. I love the comedians, but... Just cruel and unusual punishment. ay 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 Randolph Mortimer, this is outrageous. What are you doing? I haven't done anything wrong. I'm glad your parents are not alive. What? <gasps> no, oh my God! Now this is totally. Now you'd better think about it because it's something that you are going to have to live with for the rest of your life. <laughs> Strip you little shit. Ooh. Oh, I tell you, I'm a new asshole. <sighs> now, I have witnesses. This man is physically threatening me. <laughs> One cellophane bag. That's not mine. I've oh never seen gosh. that before in my life. They are doing the most. That's PCP. Phenocyclidine. You know, when I was younger, um, I 
had there we were really close with a cop and I asked him once I was like why is it that in movies and stuff they stick their finger in and they they taste it and he's like oh it's because it's cocaine it makes your tongue go numb and I was like oh well that makes sense I'm a peaceful man she's so feathery <laughs> Like, I hope, I hope that this works out for him, Billy Ray. Good luck. <laughs> Just no top side. Just having the, the time of their life. You are the most righteous. Yeah, right. Just get the f*** out, man. Let's go. Shit. Come on. I mean, it's nice that he's realizing that, uh, you know, to appreciate... The stuff that he has. Let's go, Winthorpe. Oh. oh no. He got beat up. I never want to see you again as long as I live. See, now you're not only messing up his life, but you're messing up her life too. She didn't do anything. Yes. Oh, Coleman. Could you please let me in? I'm, I'm having trouble with my key. Who are you? What do you want? Coleman, just oh. unchain the door and let me in. I'm in no mood for this. This is so cruel. Coleman, if you don't go away, I shall be forced to call the police. Oh, not again. Don't call the police on him again. Oh, you can tell he feels bad. Now, wait a this minute. This is so sad. What am I supposed to live on? I mean, what's going to happen to me? I mean, he's still pretentious what? and stuck up and bougie, 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 but... <sighs> Welcome to the real world, sir. I'm going to regret this, but... Come on. Oh, are they gonna fall in Get love in. though? If they're gonna fall in love, that's gonna be so great. Hopefully everything goes back to normal though. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He's starting to get this suspicious. Shit going on here, Don't Colin. be suspicious. Don't be Nobody suspicious. Don't be what? suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I mean, I'm hoping that what happens is that he that he Again, does do Alan, well, and the that they the that after they bring the other guy back, that they will give him an opportunity. Because some people they just need the opportunity. So many people live the lives that they live because they don't have the opportunity. And if he does well, because he's actually really smart, then he deserves it. What you might find in a bacon and lettuce and tomato sandwich. <laughs> then there are other commodities, like frozen orange. He is like, you gold. think I'm that dumb. Uh, the good part, William, is that... Uh, you know, on the other hand, I hope that he's bad at this, so he money. loses all of their money. That would be well, fantastic. I've saved 42 grand, and it's in T-bills, earning interest. I figure I've got three more years on my back. I'll have enough to retire on. She's so smart. You're a prostitute how dare you look down on her like that by the way food and rent are not the only things around here that cost money you sleep on the couch she's even hotter now oh she's so hot <laughs> i was not expecting that <gasps> look at him he's gonna do the right thing he's gonna give it back to them Constance Fry, Constance Fry. Do these people really exist in real life? They just, you know, I'm going to the, I'm going to the club. That I can rely on you, my friends, as character witnesses. Well, ain't that something? Man that watches so hot was smoking. So that means huh. it's stolen. He thinks it's stolen. You mean to imply stolen? Listen, you need a reality check, okay? Stop trying to fight this and just let it roll because you're making yourself look real silly. You've been so kind to me. Yeah. I'm just protecting my investment. That's all. You can't possibly be attracted to him. He's been a snoot this whole time. Look, everyone's wearing little carnations. Little, oh, that Santa looks a little rough. Ooh, 
Santa's hungry and not just for cookies and milk. Oh, he's going to see the embezzlement. Oh, he's going to find it. He's going to. Oh. All right. All right. I like it. Oh, it is him. <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't think it was going to be him. The whole fish. The whole dang fish. Oh, I bet he smells so bad. Where did he even get that costume from? He's going to find out that the old guys are embezzling and then they're going to go under and then Eddie and Dan are going to go into business together when he gets back all of his monies. That would actually be a pretty good, pretty good storyline if Dan doesn't mess up and do something stupid. Put that phone down. <laughs> Hello, security. Oh, no. Merry Christmas. He really did get a gun. Yeah, if he had done that in today's, there's no way he'd be out on the streets. People would definitely have had that on video and he would be in jail. Oh. I mean, I never wish, I never want to wish poorly for people. I don't want him to be sad. Winthrop, Winthorp. I still don't know his name. Pay up, Mortimer. I've won the bet. Here, one dollar. <gasps> this bet was over a dollar. Okay. Perfect. Holy Perfect. moly! Do you really believe I would have a? <gasps> our oh my gosh! Of course not. Still oh my gosh! I would have. I think he should bust out of there and he should punch that guy in the face. He's just got the gun right there in his belt. And he's still got a fillet of fish in his jacket. <laughs> Louis? getting dark. I had the most absurd nightmare. I was poor and no one liked me. <laughs> it was all because of this terrible, awful Negro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop yeah. doing that. That's the way they want it? No problem. <gasps> combining forces. You, know, you, you need to combine forces and, and prove that they're shack. embezzling money and then... Um, you can take over the company. The yep. With a deadly weapon Got it. Unless somebody stops them. Or beats them to it. Eggnog. <laughs> Eggnog. Merry New Year! Happy New Year. <laughs> now, I doubt if you have any problems, but oh, if you no, do... Oh, no, the Belushi guy. He's going to end up in the cage, and the ape is going to get loose. Yeah. I'm predicting it. A wee jolt of Irish whiskey to us here in the new year. <laughs> oh, son, thank you very much. No, it gives me the wind, something terrible. Oh. I love these characters that they're playing. Hey, let me see now. You would be from uh, Austria, am I right? No, I am Inga from Sweden. Sweden? <laughs> but you're wearing lederhosen. Look at that slickness. That was slick. That was very, very good. I certainly hope there's oh. enough spears. Oh my god! Menke. Oh my god, now there's blackface. Oh. So the he train will be pulling into it? Philadelphia soon. Did he will see you be the change? Off of the city of brotherly loves, Mr. Beaks? Yeah, I will, but you won't. Oh, he did see it. Hey, come on, loosen up, man. It's almost New Year's Eve. Oh, oh no, he thinks he hurt the ape. He thinks he hurt his friend. That worked out real nicely. Yay, ape. Oh, he thinks he thinks she's pretty ape. Oh, he can't talk. Sometimes it looks so human, it gives me creeps. If he, if he has his hands free, why doesn't he take the mask off? He needs both hands to smooch her. Oh. Oh my gosh, I just had an epiphany. They were in um My Girl together. 
They were lovers then, too. You make no friends in the pits and you take no prisoners. One minute you're up half a million in soybeans and the next, boom, your kids don't go to college and they've repossessed your Bentley. Are you with me? Yeah, well, we gotta kill him, <laughs> motherfucker! We gotta kill him! He's trying. I'm very happy that they didn't just, like, go back to each other's lives. Like, I'm glad that they're working together for the better cause. Like, they're getting back at those silly silly old men gosh i couldn't i know nothing about this life it's so crazy what is happening i don't understand well that's ridiculous unless that crop report Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I have no idea how this all works. But they're going down, and I'm very happy about that. The cold winter has apparently not affected the orange harvest. <laughs> but what does that mean? Does that mean that, like, there's going to be a plethora? This is chaos. This is absolute chaos. Winston! Wilson! <laughs> I have the worst memory. What did they do? I'm so confused. I don't know how the stock market works. How could you do this to us after everything we've done for you? Oh, oh you. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. See, Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poor house at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won. A duke has been sitting on this exchange since it was founded. We founded this exchange. It's ours. It belongs to us. Oh Not anymore. Lobster and crack crab for everyone. Oh. Extra primo good, Mr. Coleman. Oh, Coleman. He's found a little. Ooh, Eddie Murphy's in a little bit of a skimpy bathing suit. I'm just so happy for all of them. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. That was a little bit different than what I was expecting it to be. I seriously was thinking that it was gonna be like a Freaky Friday uh, magic type voodoo whatever and they switch places, but um, it was so much worse than that. Those two old guys are such jerks. I had a hard time getting past a lot of the language and just the the treatment of of, of, of people versus other people racial wise that was um that was tough but i loved how it ended because it was not what i was expecting the two of them coming together finding out about the first bet and then coming together and just ripping those old dudes a new one just oh they deserved everything they got it was beautiful i still don't know how the stock exchange works anytime i ever see anything with the stock exchange in a movie i'm like oh well no idea uh-uh not a chance. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish they could make movies like they used to in the 80s, you know, in the windows and stuff like that. But I am OK if they never make another movie with those kinds of stereotypes again, because that was a lot. That was a lot to uh, have to just be like, OK, I'll accept it. I don't accept it. I don't accept any of it. My favorite part was on the train when each of those <laughs> each of the people came in. They were in different characters. Uh, it was going seamlessly. It really was until the guy just he looked at the right time and saw that they were trying to pull a fast one. So so that movie was on our scratch off poster of top one, 180s movies. So let's scratch off our scratch off. Oh, there it is. Ta-da. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Well, isn't that appropriate? A lot of this movie was about monetary greed so it makes sense that they would use a dollar dollar bill y'all it's so cute a little dollar bill isn't that sweet i have a lot on here that has not been scratched off but i have seen a lot of these should i just go ahead and scratch off the ones that i have seen 
and because I can't, um, some of these are my favorite movies, so it's not going to be quite of a reaction to rewatch them for you. Thanks for, thanks for coming out. Thanks for um, all your comments from past uh, videos. Thanks for all of your likes and watches. We are so happy that you guys have been enjoying your time with us. We hope to really get on the ball and get ahead so that we can, on a regular basis, produce movies for you guys. It wasn't my favorite. It was funny. Don't get me wrong. There were some really great parts, and I loved the characters. They did such a good job at, at, at portraying their class, their, their status in society. And it was fun to see the switch. What did you think? Is this something that you think is a timeless classic? from the 80s. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments. Of course, we would love for you to share the videos, like the videos, subscribe to the channel. Again, 95% of my watchers, the people who come and watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. And that's crazy. It's just one button. And then you get to know when videos become available. Just subscribe. It's a great time. I promise we truly appreciate all you have done with us and for us, and we can't wait to get more content out to you. Well, that's it for now. So we'll see you next time. Bye.